Hey there, in this video I'll show you how to connect your uh, Galaxy A15 uh, to a computer, Mac or laptop. So, the first thing first, you'll obviously need your uh, charger. This is the same one you charge your phone and make sure it's plugged into your device. Then you need to plug it in the phone as well. Okay, and as you plug it in, it will show that it has started uh, basically charging. Her, this is the most important step where most people fail, and uh, this is why you really can't connect. So you have to basically uh, unlock your phone. If you've got fingerprint or whatever, make sure you unlock your phone and swipe up. Uh, most of the time, a pop-up like this will appear. Uh, so you need to click allow. If uh, you don't click that, you won't be able to connect your device. If for some reason that pop-up doesn't uh, appear, we need to uh, go to our phone and scroll from top to down till we see this option. Uh, it will show uh, basically USB. It might show different text, but uh, check this out. It shows like USB. So have to click for more options and we need to select this transferring files or Android Auto. Uh, sometimes uh, it doesn't automatically do this and ask that prompt. So make sure you do this. Otherwise, it won't be possible to do this. Uh, this is Android security feature basically. So once that's done, we can go to our computer and uh, on the Windows, it's quite easy to click this PC or your computer and your device will appear here and need click on the internal storage and then if you want to access your images uh, this is in the DCIM folder again click camera and make sure all these pictures load and uh, it, it has stopped uh, loading the, the loading process if you try to do something with these images uh, either open them or try to copy uh, to, to your desktop, uh, this whole process uh, will most likely crash. So make sure you wait. Then if you want to transfer your image out, you can simply select the image we want to transfer, uh, right click, click copy, then make a new folder somewhere, okay. Open that and simply click paste, and uh, all your uh, basically your image will be transferred to your uh, device. Then, for example, if you want to transfer maybe uh, some music or movie movies to your phone, so you can watch them on your uh, phone. Then we go back to this main menu, and uh, we can basically move these. There are folders for movies and music. So take your basically uh, file. I got some uh, Simpsons episode here, and we're simply going to drag them to the movies and wait till this finishes transferring. So, uh, what if for some reason you are still not able to connect your phone to your to your laptop and that pop-up doesn't show so there might be two other problems so the most common problem is there is something uh, basically uh, stuck inside your charger port so and uh, that why and it doesn't make a very good connection and you can't really transfer the files so uh, if you check out my other videos i have a guide on how to clean it but uh, to give you in short, you can take a small paintbrush as this, take a few strands and simply brush it out like this. Obviously hold the phone like that. <laughs> I got only one hand at the moment. So yeah, you can brush it out. And also a blower like this is very useful. You can simply blow it out. Or you can also take a, a obviously turn off your phone first and take uh, something like a needle, a very, very fine needle. Uh, and uh, we can uh, simply scrub out any junk out of there that might be lodged there. However, be sure not to <laughs> damage anything there. Anyway, make sure you check out my other video. I have proper explanation how to do that. 
Then the last problem, what might affect, is you simply have a bad cable. Uh, even if your uh, phone basically charges with the same cable, it doesn't mean that it's good enough uh, for uh, file transfer. Maybe it's worn out and yeah, it, it won't basically work. So look for <laughs> another charger cable basically. Again, even if it's charging, it doesn't mean it will be good for file transfer. So yeah, and that's uh, how you connect the Galaxy A15 to your computer and transfer files to it and or transfer to this device. So if this was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. See you!